Hey, we're here at Carolina Specialty Tools in Connolly Springs, North Carolina, and I have President uh, Tim Weaver here who's going to talk to us for a bit about the process of diamond coating and the machinery that's involved with that. So, Tim? Uh, yes, this is, uh, hi, I'm Tim Weaver, and this is the, uh, one of our diamond machines. We have four of these diamond machines here, and of course, this one is running right now, eroding a diamond tool. We buy these, we bought this machine along with the other three from Bomber, which makes a, a great uh, diamond erosion machine. When I say erosion, when you're, when you're sharpening diamonds, you use an erosion machine. You don't use a grinding machine like you typically do in carbide. Diamond is very hard for man-made material. So we buy these machines here from Bomber to do the sharpening and refurbishing of our diamond tool. If you can see here, it has a copper wheel, which is a wheel that has electricity running through it. The wheel really never touches the diamond. The, uh, it gets very close within thousands of inch. It has an electric charge. And that's what erodes the diamond. You can't really grind diamonds. Some people say you can, but I think the best is to erode the diamond. And so we have these copper top wheels which is eroding the diamond by electricity. So it sparks and kind of burns. And, it, it up. and as it turns, it erodes it. And it takes a, it probably takes to do a cutter like this with 36 teeth, about three quarters of an inch wide or 20 millimeters, uh, probably about four to six hours to rota a diamond tool this way. Because the thing has to, you know, it's diamond is so hard that it sits there a long time with electricity and road across the tip. And uh, these machines are designed where you can program them on the machine. The operators can all take a tool and mount it on the machine and then program with them. We have a machine, of course, here with the parts on it. And the machine is also equipped with a probe that can probe each tooth and tell where the tooth is on the, uh, on the tool for so the machine to know where to go and how to grind that tooth. Of course, I'm not an expert at it. I have quite a few experts here at Carolina Specialty so I'm trying to explain this as best as I can. But also, you'll notice the wheel that's it's eroding the uh, the diamond tool, after ever so many teeth, the, the wheel will get, will get a black coating on it. So I'll have to come over to an area on the far corner of the machine and, uh, and redress the wheel, which is recutting the, the, some of the excess stuff off the cutting wheel. Then it goes back to eroding. It gets like a black film on it from the spark. And, uh, so basically, that's, that's how we do it. We, we bring in a tool from a customer, we check it out on the, on the, on the comparator and, and look at the damage on it, assess what needs to be done, load it into this machine here, and then the programmer programs the machine exactly what they want it to do. And they set it up, and like I said, a tool like this with 36 people running work for four to six hours. All right, Tim, thank you. Appreciate that.